Good evening. The international fugitive who dodged police for more than 20 years received his punishment today. Mafuz Huck stabbed Todd Kelly to death in Kelly's Steuben County home in 1989. Then he fled to Southeast Asia. News Channel 15's Adam Widener was in the packed courtroom today and joins us live from Studio 15 with more. Huck was remorseful and emotional in court today as he learned he will serve 40 years in prison for the 1989 killing. In November, Huck had accepted a plea agreement for voluntary manslaughter. The Steuben County judge calls it one of the most conflicting sentences he's ever done. But in the end, the victim's family says after waiting 25 years, justice has been served. We feel okay about, about him getting 40 years and that it's at least the... Uh beginning of the end of a very long process for us. After decades, Shannon Kelly and her father Vern will wait no longer for justice. The hope for this day began back in 1989. Investigators say Mafuz Huck stabbed Todd Kelly to death over a woman. Huck then fled to his native country of Bangladesh for more than 20 years. Indiana State Police Detective Kevin Smith picked up the cold case in 2005. His efforts led detectives to Huck. I am fortunate to say to her today that we found him and he's going to Indiana prison where he needs to be. The packed courtroom heard two very different sides of Huck. In Bangladesh, he had been a dedicated middle school math teacher at an international school. Friends and co-workers flew in from as far as Africa and China for the sentencing. They testified about his care for the students, his charitable work in an orphanage, and his enthusiasm in coaching high school tennis. Huck, known to them as Asif Haq, was traveling to India with his tennis team when authorities arrested him, eventually extraditing him back to Steuben County last July. It floored those who were with him. And you can't blame those people. They did the very best for what they could do, you know, to tell them, to tell everybody what exactly what they thought he was. But obviously he was not what they thought. On the other hand, the Kelly family spoke of 25 years of heartache for what they called a vicious and brutal crime. The victim's aunt told Huck, quote, today you will be sentenced, but you sentenced this family to a lifetime of heartache. Shannon Kelly told Huck he can't kill her family's love, respect, and honor. Nobody else existed in that courtroom except me and him. And, uh... I've waited 25 years for that. Huck tearfully begged for forgiveness from the Kelly family. He says his kindness and charity in Bangladesh was a hope to gain redemption for what he did to Todd Kelly. In the end, the judge handed down a heavier 40-year sentence because Huck fled the country, not taking responsibility for his actions. The sentence relieved the Kelly family, who thanked Detective Smith. Justice was served today, and... Uh... Without this guy right here, there's no way it would have happened. He's my hero. As for closure, the Kelly family says even after the sentencing, the pain is as real today as it was a quarter of a century ago. It is the most overrated word ever used in a situation like this. Yeah. It's not closure. This is justice for my brother. End of sentence. Justice. The defense had no comment on the sentencing. The victim's family says today would have been Todd Kelly's late mother's birthday. They say this justice is the best present she could have ever received. Live in Studio 15, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.